Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is reverse substring between each pair of parentheses. So the problem statement goes like this: that you are given a string S that consists of lowercase English letters and brackets. Now you have to reverse the string in each pair of matching parentheses, starting from the innermost one. Okay. So let us take one example to understand this problem statement, and you just have to print out the final string. Okay. After doing this operation, so. This is the bracket, so you have to reverse the whole string inside this particular bracket. So you will just reverse it, so it will become from A B C D, it will become D C B A. Now in this particular string, what you'll understand is that we have to always start from the very innermost bracket. So first, this love will be like reverse; it will become U, then E V O L, and then I, and then the outermost bracket is reversed, so it will become I. Because this will come at the very first, you will come at the very end, and this love will because it is two time reverse, it will become the same word. So I love you. Okay, that is the whole thing that uh, you will do, and uh, let us see how you can sort like solve such a problem. So mostly in bracket type problems and many problems, you can use stack. Okay, also if you just see the constraint of this problem, it is up to two thousand. So you can do this in O of n square approach as well. Now what we will do is that. Using a stack, what we will do is that let's say that we have a string. Let's take the this as an input only, so that it will become more clear to you. Copy this out. Copy, copy, and let us paste this. This is the whole string. Now, what you understand is that whenever I see an opening bracket, what it eventually means that I have to somehow do a reversion, but not now. Okay, let's say that I will store the index. So let us also give these indexes also zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So uh, the the brackets also given some indexes also. Now what will happen eventually is let's say that let us take one more another pen. What will eventually happen? Is, let's say I see a in bracket. And I will push it somewhere. Let's say in the stack or vector, whatever you say. That this there is an opening bracket at the index zero. Now there is some character. Let's say e, d, and so on. I again see opening bracket. I again send in some vector. Let's say there is a opening bracket again at index three. Then again I see I just iterate over the whole string. Whenever I see opening bracket, I just sense that I will send in some vector or some stack that okay I have seen another opening bracket. So there is another opening bracket at six. Six is also sent. Now whenever I see a closing bracket. What it eventually means that now from the last opening bracket, this is the first closing bracket, so they will complete out each other. So let's say from six to eight, they will complete out. Now all the element between six, like starting at six, there is a bracket. So from six plus one, that is seven. All the characters from seven till this character that is last, so eight is also having a bracket. So eight minus one, that is seven. So all the characters between these indexes should be reversed. So I just use that as reverse function by C plus plus. Or you can also like write down some function to just reverse out the string between this index, the starting and the ending index. So you can just send out and because this complete a particular operation by a closing and opening bracket, just remove out this because now this is completely reversed. Now when I again see a closing bracket, what it eventually means that whatever the last bracket I have seen from that to this, there is again one more particular operation that I have to do. So I just take what is the last index that I have inserted. Or I found the particular opening bracket three. So from four till this particular index, I have to reverse the whole string. Again. So the reversion of the whole string will take O of n because I have to reverse the whole array. Okay, and we are also doing an O of n over the whole array, so O of n square with the whole tangency. And that's the whole idea that we will be doing to like uh, solve this problem. Try problem. So let us do over the problem statement and the code part of this uh, so that I understand it more clearly. So we just make a match stack that will store what are the indexes at which we have found the opening bracket. Just iterate over the whole string. Whenever I see an opening bracket, I just push that particular index in the match stack. And whenever I see a closing bracket, what I'll eventually do is that I will just find out what is the start index. Starting index, the top element, that is the last element that is closing, the last closing bracket, or oh sorry, opening bracket in the stack. The stack is this match. So from that, I'll just find out the top index, that is the first or the last closed opening bracket that I've seen plus one because I have to start from that. And the end is the index that I'm on. Okay, and just reverse out all the elements between that, and just pop out the last or the top opening bracket that is stored inside the stack. Okay, the index of that because that is matched, and that is how you can just reverse out all of that. 
Now, eventually after doing this whole operation, we have reversed out the strings in these particular brackets. But we have to also print out the whole thing after removing all the brackets. So we just again iterate over the whole string. And because we have done the operation, the, the string that we have is the rotated string. So what we'll just do is that we just iterate over the whole string and whenever we find it an opening or a closing bracket, we just not put that into the string. But apart from that, any other character, we just push that into the string or in the answer string and just print out. That's the overall idea of this whole problem. If you still have a doubt, you can mention it in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Keep coding and bye.